Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm a random noob. In today's episode I want to talk to you about my passion of building, as you can see from other episodes, massive things in Minecraft. And I think that there are a few important rules that you must always remember while building mega structure in Minecraft. Uh, I've taken the most important ones and I want to share them with you. So let's get started. If you've never built something in Minecraft, survival or creative, and it's the first time that you want to create something, an important rule is to get the correct inspiration, if not even copy something already existing. This is because get the correct inspiration is really difficult even for the most well-known builders. I spent hours and hours trying to find the best way to create the correct project. I draw it many times and only when I'm pleased with the final result I reproduce it on my world. So if it's the first time and you don't know what you are going to do, consider watching some existing build from the real life or from other Minecraft war and try to recreate them. The second rule is pretty simple get more material than the one that you will need because building a mega base in Minecraft is really really resource consuming and you can't be sure about the materials that you will need to finish the structure consider for example that if, if I want to rebuild this big chest in a survival world I would need more or less 2000 stripped oak logs and 400 stripped dark oak logs but what would happen if, one time that I've built this the structure, I noticed that another layer of stripped dark oak would fit better? So it's better have more material than the one that you need. Instead of stopping building the structure and go back and get more resources. Moreover, if you don't use those resources, you can always use them in another way, in another structure. And when I say have more resources than what you really need, I mean uh, literally have really a lot of resources. For example, here I fill this, <laughs> this giant chest with double chest, and all those double chests are filled with shulker box fill it with chest so this is a way to say that you really have to use to have at least a lot of resources when uh, you want to build something huge and uh, you cannot compute uh, how many resources you will need the third rule is really important Get a scheme of what you are going to do. Draw it as best as possible to get an idea of what you will need and in which quantities. Of course, it's better have more resources, but it has no sense if you need 10 glowstone and you have a double chest full of glowstone. You have to draw it in the best way possible. It's really important also when you want to recreate some curved shape, for example, for this building to recreate those curves I've done a scheme on AutoCAD as you can see from the video if you are in a survival world this is absolutely necessary the fourth rule is to use an elytra and have a bunch of rockets because it's really make all the process faster and moreover, you can always have a look from far away and you can check your entire building in the same view. It's really a must to have those two things. Also, who really hates flying around with an elytra? If you, as me, die really often, always have another elytra and a stack of rocket next to your bed, so you can be get back to your stuff as soon as possible. The fifth rule is to focus on details. Even if you have to spend half an hour choosing the color and the position of a single block. It always happens to me. When you get the block, for example, yellow wool, 
and you compare it to, to a yellow concrete powder or a yellow concrete or a yellow terracotta and those even if it's always yellow is different kind of yellow and the possibility to use one on or the other it really change the feeling of your final structure so it's really important to focus on every single details when I say focus on details, for example, we can see uh, that I've used more details in this reproduction of the litera than in the other one that we have over here. Mm, but we could also see, for example, the details of the chest with the logs in different uh, position. Or, for example, we can go to the reproduction of the first Pokemon League, the Indigo League, that I've done in another episode of Big Useless Things. And check, for example, those item frames that are made up to reproduce with the bamboo uh, a detail that we have on the column of the Indigo League. For example, if I, I, I tried, uh, for example, with everything that has uh, this kind of shape, a uh, long shape, to find the best uh, element that can recreate the detail of the league. And even if uh, probably you will not ever see this small detail when you go uh, all along this building, as you can see it's pretty small and you will probably not find it, it adds something to the final building. Hello again everyone and I'm back in my creative world because I've found while editing the video that the recording of me building this massive wall was lost. So I'm here again to talk to you about one of the most important, if not the most important role while building something huge, uh, some mega structure in Minecraft. And the rule is pretty simple, get crazy with the dimension. For example, I have built this massive wall only to reproduce a stupid detail that is a pixel art of Mario, of course. So one of the most important uh, suggestions that I can give to you is to get crazy. Don't be limited by dimension. Get everything big, everything huge and you will find that all your construction will be much much better. Okay, and finally probably the most important suggestion that I can think of. Yeah, it's surely the most important suggestion. And is to never get bored. This, what I mean, for example, while I was building this uh, massive uh, reproduction of a rocket, uh, um, more or less as this, at this point, I was really bored and because it's really doing always the same thing. So I stopped, I got up, I had a snack and after uh, 20 minutes or something like that I, I've uh, come back and I've go, uh, gone on in building these things. Because if you are uh, bored of what you are building you will probably not finish it and you will say, okay, maybe I will stop now, I'm too stressed, it's taking too long, and you will never come back to finish what you was building. Okay guys, here we are. I think that I have uh, said all the secrets about building uh, mega structure in Minecraft, and one final thought is to be proud of what you are building. Always be proud of the building that we have constructed. So, if you like the video, um, leave a like, uh, comment if you have any ideas of what can I build, and nothing. Thank you for seeing this video, and subscribe. Bye!